Do you want to do more than just keep track of your pet when you're not around? Maybe you want to interact with it more than just with your voice. In that case, this is what you've been looking for. Hello, I am Wanderer001, and this is my review of the Eufy Pet Dog Camera D605. I will start the review off by prefacing, while Eufy markets this towards dog owners, I am the owner of two cats, and surprise, surprise, this worked out very well with my two cats, even though it is marketed towards dog owners. There are some things that are dog specific, mainly with the AI, that really didn't work with my cats, but for everything else, this works just as well if you have cats and not dogs. The Eufy Pet, as I will refer to it, offers you a wide 170 degree field of view, has a rotating base, which we'll show a little later, and will dispense treats to your pet. Because of all of that, there is a setup process for the Eufy Pet. So let's see how easy it was to set this up. This will be the setup for the Eufy Pet. It has a fairly simple setup process. Realistically, it starts with plugging it in underneath here and then downloading the Eufy Pet app. The Eufy Pet app itself, which can be seen right here, is different than the Eufy Security app that you might have if you have any other Eufy products. However, if you already have a Eufy Security product and a username and password for that account, they will work with your pet account. So after which, we are going to plug in our Eufy Pet and then select Add a Device on our application. It's powered on, it has a green indicator light right there, waiting to see if there is an audible cue. It does not appear so. So we're gonna come back to the app and select add a device. So there is a QR code on the bottom of our device here. And I'm gonna take my pet here, which is now spinning around, and I'm going to scan the QR code on the bottom. The QR code has been scanned. Oh, and now we plug it in, which is why it gave us that problem. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, solid blue. We're gonna select next. It is prompting us to select the sync button on top right here until we hear a beep. We've heard a beep. I'm gonna select, I have heard a beep because it's going to talk to the pet here via Bluetooth. So if you don't have your Bluetooth on, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you turn that on and it is going to connect to our device. And we're gonna see how long that setup takes. We are still flashing blue down there. And I'm gonna quickly double check to make sure I have my Bluetooth on. All right, it wants to know what network it's gonna be on. I'm gonna throw this on my IoT network and quickly put in my username. Connecting to the Wi-Fi network, please wait. And it said connecting to the Wi-Fi network if you did not hear that. And we're gonna give this a chance to get onto my IoT network. Connecting to the Wi-Fi network, please wait. Yes, we are waiting for you to connect. Notice it's blinking red now. Setup was successful. Good, second time around. We're gonna select next, camera name. We're just gonna call this Eufy Pet, matches the name. Select next, and I'm assuming that that camera's gonna pop on, so we're gonna put that over there. And it wants to update it, so we're gonna say update. And just like with anything else, there will be a firmware update. It will take a little time. In this case, it says it can take up to nine minutes. I don't think it's going to, but I will run the firmware and let you know. Completion time for firmware update, 18. So like three minutes, not bad. We're gonna select finish, and there you go. That is going to be a live feed from the device. It's letting us know this is how you would send treats. And that complete setup, we'll talk about the app a little later. Now that we've discussed setup, let's take a look at the actual Eufy Pet. Despite how it looks on video, it is a rather large, hulking size of a pet treat camera dispenser. If you have any other Eufy products, mainly Eufy cameras, this is much, much larger than anything uh, that they have for an internal device. But if we come up to the front here, and I will angle this so we can kind of get some light, you have your 170 degree camera lens right there. Underneath this, this is your speaker to talk to your pets. Underneath that is your microphone. And then right here is actually where your treats will pop out. You have an LED status light just under that, which can be turned off in the application. Blue when it's on means it's just on and hanging out. And then it will flash when motion is detected or if it's actively uh, being looked through. Now the chute itself is a little tricky. What happens is treats are dropped in and then in there, there's actually a mechanism that's drawn into the device and then flicks. 
your treats out, which is partially why this thing is so big for what it does. Now, we're gonna come around to the back and show you that there's really nothing else going on except for the front here. Underneath, which you kind of saw during the setup, you've got your cable insert right here with a nice cutout so you don't have to worry about the cable getting in the way, making this kind of off kilter. They do give you a nice six foot cable. It is not a USB style, so it is the wall wart is attached to the cable, so if you do break or need a longer one, uh, you'll have to get a different one. It is a six foot cable, which is kind of nice. You have these feet here, so these are not actually feet. This is rubberized to help keep it in place, but then here are extra feet with little stickers on them that you pull off, and this is the one thing I kind of dislike about the Eufy. These kind of stick on things, and can leave a residue behind. I have put this on top of some older wooden furniture. It hasn't ripped off the varnish or anything, but right here you can see I put it down on my note sheet and it kinda peeled off the note sheet. Aside from that, they're not too bad. If you don't wanna have to worry about these sticking in place, you could always just leave the little plastic piece on top of that. I do know why they did that. It's to help keep this anchored in place because once your pets get used to it, they're gonna start knocking at it to try and get treats out of it. Underneath here you have a slide out that will help you in cleaning the actual device because well, you are putting food in the top of it. And here we go, we'll just take this off. And I had it slightly loose to make it easier to get off, but there is a little rubber seal around this and it does not screw into place. It is pressurized, put into place, just in case your beloved pet knocks this over and manages to kinda unscrew things. This, it really is hard to take out. And right in here, we'll just kinda move that a little bit so you can see. This is our internal, so you have a large food hopper here for the treats. If you happen to have treats that are on this top shelf, these mechanisms will push the treats down, and then you have your firing mechanism down there. These are all soft rubber, you don't have to worry about it. And when it's in action, it looks like this. Come get a treat. Come get a treat. Come get a treat. Come get a treat. The one thing you might have noticed during the walk around is there is no slot for an SD card. This is like some of the other Eufy products where they have an a internal local storage option, so you cannot upgrade the amount of space that's on here, which in some cases I'm okay with, but I do wish that they kind of gave you the option to upgrade it only because this, the Eufy Pet, has an interesting way of keeping track of your animals that a Eufy camera does not. However, all of that is accessible through the application. So let's take a look at the Pet app for the Eufy Pet. This is the application for the Eufy Pet. Right here, when you first log in, you see a screenshot or a screen grab of your actual camera feed. You'll get notifications right here. Last seen, detected yesterday. For dog, I've been using this for cats, works perfectly fine. Treat storage level, high to low, letting you know when it's time to refill those treats. Up here, we'll talk about that a little later, but that's actually a summary of your pet activity. Think of it almost as a time lapse of your pet's activity. Before we get into the actual pet station itself, at the bottom, you have home, which is what we're currently on, activity, which will show you your pet's activity. So if I do yesterday, Yuffie pet detected, detected, selfie, person. So selecting any of these will show us our pet doing something. So in this case, my cat's walking along. If we come back down to a pet selfie, you might not be able to see it, but each of these has a differing length, which is very good. So you're not limited to a clip length, it's however long the pet is in frame. And we're gonna turn that back on, and here we can see both my guys wandering around. Down here at the bottom, you have options to download what you're seeing, share what you're seeing, donate, or delete. You can also submit an error if this was triggered erroneously. You also have the ability right there, select that to expand so you can take up more screen real estate to see your pets in action. Last but not least, we have our profile icon right there. Won't be going into that because there's just way too much sensitive information. In the upper left-hand corner right here, this actually is a filter option. So we can do all barking, selfie, dog, or cat, because again, my cats are able to be seen, person, sound, motion, and tosses. So if you're looking for a faster way to find things rather than scroll through all of this, you can filter using that. We also have in the upper right hand corner, 
the ability to delete items by selecting. We're just gonna cancel because we don't wanna actually delete anything. And we're gonna come back to our homepage. Right here, as we mentioned, this is our actual feed. It's a snapshot right now. This button right here will allow you to turn on and off your actual camera. So right now, if I try and go in there, camera's off, it's not gonna show anything. So we can turn our camera on, Doing so will turn the blue LED indicator light on, so you'll always know when that's on. You can turn it off in our options section, which we'll talk about in a moment. Selecting play, here we have an actual live feed for my downstairs, and we have controls to the left or the right, which will move our camera. And right in the middle here, we've got the big treat icon. Kind of looks like a cookie or a piece of cheese, depending on what you think. If we select and drag down, we'll notice that this is actually our toss range for our treats. Now, I don't know if my guys are down there to see this, but we'll find out momentarily. But when we launch this, there actually is a pet command that is given to kind of let your guys know that, hey, there's some treats, you should come get them. By default, it is a squeaky toy. However, that can be changed in the options, which I'll show you in a moment. But we're gonna let this go. And I heard it go off downstairs and it should, there you go, it shot out some treats and oh, there we go. There's my one guy coming out looking for the treats and in the room next to me, I actually heard my other cat jump down. So he should be coming into frame over here fairly shortly because he's gonna wanna find those treats too. When I first started using this, they were a bit spooked by the treat launcher. However, as you can see right now, they really do enjoy it. We'll do another launch since he missed out and here we go. Second launch. They hear the actuation of the command and they're both looking and they see the treats. Depending on your treat size is how many will come out and I will do a mid-range launch once they're done. As I said before, they were a little spooked by the treat launcher when I first got it. However, they really do now perk up as soon as they hear either the motor for it turning or the command. before the launch. So we're gonna do a mid-range one for this and shoot them out. It has actuated the command again and they're looking up, they're looking for the treats. And there you may have seen that pop up. And we'll leave them in frame while we're talking. Down here, this is your Wi-Fi connectivity, letting you know how much bandwidth you have going to your actual device. Lower left-hand corner, we can record what we have going on screen and then save it to our phone. We've got a screenshot, which will save a screenshot of what's going on to our local device. We have speak, holding this down. All right, guys, that's enough treats for now. And they will proceed to sit there probably for the next few minutes. We also have a command right here. And right now, I only have the one command, which I have called treat time. And if I wanted to get them to come down before I was actually launching any treats, that's how I could do it. We have our audio selection right here. We can mute any audio that's coming from this or we can turn it on. I like to hear if they're meowing to find out what's going on. Right here, this is an option button to bring up extra options. To do this, it's a little tricky. We kind of hold and drag it up, which gives us a second layer of options. We have our activity log here, which brings us back to the activity which we had access to from the First page, we have auto night vision on and off. So we can turn that off and just never have it go into night vision. We have round look, so if we select this, it will actually spin our device 270 degrees, kinda take a look around, see what's going on, and then return to home. We have tracking. What this will do is allow you to toggle on and off motion tracking. So if you want your camera to rotate and follow your pets, that's how you would do it. And then we also have a calibration, which if we select that, will look very similar to our 270. But what this will do is rotate the camera around until it returns to its true center point, which is this, which is slightly different than where I had it move to. So those are our extra options under main option area. Upper right hand corner here, we have our settings. Selecting this will allow us to do all the extra things. Right here, we can change the name. Right now I just left it at Yuffie Pet. We have another toggle for camera on and off. We have our status light on and off. I had that off for a moment, but that will have that blue light turn on and off. We have auto night vision. Again, if you don't want to have auto night vision turn on, you can turn it off here. You have logo watermark. What that will do is, well, the Yuffie logo that you saw on my screen there, you don't want that, turn it off. Toss recordings, well, that means if you don't necessarily want to record when you toss, you can turn that off and just toss your pet treats and not 
actually record it to the internal SD card. Coming down, we have motion detection settings. So right now it does detect motion. I can set up active zones if I want to. So hypothetically, if I want this zone here and this zone over here to be my tracking areas, I will get notifications when something happens there. You have sensitivity levels for motion tracking. I leave it on medium. I haven't had any problems. I have person and dog because those are what I want to be notified of. And dog does work for cats. I guess it's looking for anything small furry and on four legs. And then motion tracking if you wanted the camera to follow your pets around or person around. Coming back, we have sound detection. I have this turned off because, well, it's going to listen for barking or any sounds. My cats don't bark. They meow. So. Wasn't able to test this out, but what I've seen is it does work fairly well. We have tossing sound commands. So right here, play sound command before you toss. Like I said, Pavlovian effect with my guys. They hear that, they come running. This is the sound effect that I created called treat time. If you don't have one, it will again be that squeaky toy. And you can have several different commands. Right here, you can have up to three commands. So if you want to have one for you, one for your significant other, and then just one general one to get their attention, you can do all that. And then you can always play come get a treat. your sound right from here. And we'll come back. Video quality, we've got streaming quality set to auto, and then record quality is 10p. 1080p, which is the maximum that you can do, or you can compress it to save space on the internal card. We have audio settings next, microphone on or off, audio recording on or off, and then speaker volume, speaker on or off, and then speaker volume right there. The audio quality from this is actually pretty good for what it is, again, which is just really a treat tossing thing for your pets that does all this extra stuff. Notification settings, do you want to be notified when it sees a dog, a person, all sound, barking? Do you want to be notified when it senses motion from a dog, a person, or all motion? Do you want to be notified if it's barking or all sounds? And then interval, so do you want to be notified every time it happens, set it to zero, or do you want it to wait up to five minutes? Right down here, depending on your notifications you have, most effective, get the notification without delay, only text though. You have full notification, full effect, which is getting the text notification first, then a thumbnail included if available afterwards. And then last being include thumbnail, which is get a full notification including text and thumbnail if available. So that's when you want all the data. And then motion alerts, you have app alert tones. You can change it to several different types right there. And we're gonna come back you have your camera scheduling. So hypothetically, if you only wanted to have the camera on and recording at specific times, we come in here, add a schedule, we can turn it on or turn it off, and then select our days and hit save, and that will allow us to set up a schedule. Generally, I will have that on when I'm not around, so I can keep an eye on my cats. Local storage, selecting this, it shows us we have 3.7 gigs in clips. The total card size that's built in is 14.8. 7, which is actually a 16 gig card, but there is some formatting. And then we have available of 10.9. Formatting will erase everything on the card, so only do that if you need to start fresh. Further down, we have Wi-Fi connection, time setting, and about this device. Also, we can restart this device if we need to and remove the device. But we're gonna come back, and this is going to be our pet view again. And right here, we can see they're still looking for those treats because he is a gluttonous little guy. So. Notice here's our zooming in. We'll make him internet famous. He's all dejected because he did not get as many treats as his sister who is hiding right over there. Coming back to our main pet page here, I mentioned this. What this is is actually a photo album. So if we come over to the 29th and press play, you'll get some music, which I will mute to not get copyright but it will pretty much do a time lapse of your cat or pet walking around doing whatever they're doing. So this is kind of one way that you can keep tabs on them if you're just looking for a daily summary. This generally comes to your phone about five or six o'clock at night. You have the ability to download, share, or delete. And I'm just gonna select back because I don't necessarily need to see what they were doing that day. I know what they were doing that day. I kind of saw already. But this has been a look at the application for the Eufy Pet. 
It's really those end of the day things that take up a lot of space on the internal storage that I wish that they would let you have upgradable storage in this because you might want to keep them. You might not want to download them all the time, but those really get kicked out of the memory faster because they take up more space. You saw that I pointed out the speaker system right there before. Well, what is the sound actually like from the Eufy Pet? Well, let's take a listen. Testing audio, Eufy Pet. Test one, test two, test three. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. One, two, three, four. There definitely is a delay. Come get a treat. Now, one of the things with the Eufy Pet here, in comparison to a lot of other Eufy products that I've been recently testing, those products are 2K for the clips. The Eufy Pet, regardless, is always going to be 1080. Is that terrible? No, but it also means that you're not going to get that crisper, clean zoom that you would with the 2K, but it's still very good for what you get, which is mainly keeping track of your pets. So what does that video footage look like? Well, I'll give you an example, as well as the pet diary that you can download to keep track of your pets. Definitely some video delay. Really bad video delay. They're both sitting there waiting for treats. As you saw, not terrible, kind of cute with the little pet diary at the end. One thing that I really stress when I'm looking at smart home devices, especially once we start adding up the amount of smart home devices that we have in our home, and that is power usage. How much does something like this use? Well, when it's idling, meaning the camera's off or on and it's not recording or actively moving, the Eufy Pet uses 1.5 watts of power. When the Eufy Pet is in night mode and the four, two on either side of the camera lens, IR lights turn on, it jumps up to 2.5. Again, not terrible. If the Eufy pet actively tracking a person or your pet 
it's going to use 4.5. Now that's because, well, it's moving around and the motor does need to use more power to do that. All in all, it's not terrible, especially if you're mainly going to be keeping this in a singular place and not actively tracking your pet around. Now, I'm sure one of the concerns that you have is what will your pets think of this product? I will admit my two cats were not initially amused with it in any way, shape, or form. They're used to me running tests and things like that. However, once they learned that this was a treat dispenser and what it could do for them, they were very interested. And that only took a couple of days, really. It got to the point where I wouldn't even have to flick a treat out and have the command signal. I could merely jiggle or rotate the camera and they would instantly pop up. That is one of the downfalls of this. The rotation control isn't as fine as I would like, meaning you don't have that granular control. But again, this is not made to be a surveillance device. It's made to interact with your pets and dispense food to them. I say that because, like I mentioned before, this is a honker of a thing. This is 10 inches high. I mean, it's going to be noticeable. It's going to take up space. You're not gonna be using this as a hidden surveillance camera. And it's also because of all of those things that it can do that the price tag is going to be higher than if you're just getting a camera. And that's because you're getting more than just a camera. You're getting a treat projectile dispenser, if you think of it that way. There are other options out there that are cheaper, but they don't give you those daily summaries at the end of the day as to what your pet's been up to. And quite frankly, I don't think they have the backing of something like Eufy, which has been around for quite some time and has proven that their products are durable and will last. My two cats have enjoyed my testing of this greatly. I would highly recommend checking out the Eufy Pet Dog Camera D605 if you're looking for a way to keep track of your animals when you're away from home and want to have another way of interacting with them aside from just giving them voice commands. With that being said, I have been Wanderer001. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like as that will help other people find the video as well. If you like what I'm doing here, you can always help fuel the next review by buying me a coffee, link in the description below. Last but not least, if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, you know what to do.